right, let's take care of uh, homework 11 here. This is on regression. So we have a chart, a table 10.1. Uh, it says use technology to find the equation of the regression line in which the explanatory variable or X variable is the cost of a slice of pizza. So that'll be our X. And the response variable or Y variable is the corresponding cost of the subway fare. So we're trying to correlate we're trying to determine if there is a relationship between the cost of a piece of pizza, of pizza and the subway fare. So a simple linear regression analysis to x equals cost of a slice of pizza to y equals the subway fare. The linear regression equation would be used to predict the slice of a pizza given the subway fare would be. And uh, you're given this as part of your question. So you know to fit this to the regression line. So First thing we do, hit stat and enter for edit. We're gonna enter in the data. The X list is L1, so these go into L1, and these go into L2. And the function that we're gonna use is linreg t-test. And that's gonna be stat, tests, and then linreg t-test. So stat, I'm gonna left arrow to test. I'm gonna go up because it's near the bottom. That's F on mine, uh, might be different on yours, but look for the one that says linreg t-test. That's linear regression t-test. So the X list is L1. If you put them into a different list, just tell it what list you put it into. Y list, I've got an L2. Uh, now this is the next bit is important. This is the test you're running. It's either for beta or for rho. It actually runs both of the tests at the same time. What we want is doesn't equal. All right, make sure that that's highlighted. Otherwise you'll get a wrong p-value. Let's go to calculate. All right, so the equation is y equals a plus bx, but we have to fill in the a and the b. So there they are. So y equals, or y hat equals, uh, a is 0.0346-ish, something like that. We round off there. And the B is positive, so it's going to be plus 0.945X. And that is our formula for this. Now we're going to use that formula to solve for part B. So we want to plug in the price of $1.50. So the function evaluated at 1.5 and you know y is equal to f of x that sort of thing algebra so 0.0346 plus 0.945 multiplied by our x which is 1.5 this comes out to a dollar and 45 cents once round once we round typically when we're dealing with money we will round the cent all right, what is the null and alternative hypothesis to use to determine if the subway fare had any correlation to the cost of a slice of pizza? Well, the, the two types that I've given you have been either uh, our beta one, which is our slope, equals zero, which means no slope, which means no correlation, or alternative hypothesis where the slope doesn't equal zero. You can also use the row symbol, so that's the row symbol. That means no correlation. And that means that they are, or you could write something along the lines of uh, you know, cost of pizza and subway are not correlated. And the alternative would be uh, cost of pizza and subway fare. A little lag there are related. 
So if you're going to uh, uh, if you're going to write the symbols and the uh, interpretation, like the contextual interpretation of what the null and alternative mean, make sure you have your symbols correct. So our null should either be beta one equals zero, or row equals zero, or cost of pizza and subway uh, fare are not correlated. And then the alternative should be the ones that are not highlighted. Pick one, I don't care. If you're gonna give me multiples though, make sure that those multiples coincide with what you should actually have. All right, p-value. Uh, the p-value, uh, looking at our calculators, is 2.21 e to the negative four. Well, let's, let's do this. 2.21, uh, actually 2.1, two, we'll call it 2.2, two. e to the negative 4. That's equal to 0 0.000222. 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, essentially. So we've moved the decimal point over four, uh, four times because e to the negative 4 multiplying by um, 1 over 1,000 or 1 over 10,000, whatever it is. All right, so we note that this is less than or equal to 0.05, which is alpha, so we're going to reject. And in the context of the problem, underlined and bolded, you need to make sure that you don't just say X and Y, because that's not in the context of the problem. We're talking about cost of a slice of pizza and the subway fare. So you know, since our p-value, is lower than alpha or lower than 0 0.05. We have evidence to conclude 